Alright yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Exploit. I'm back with another 2K video and in this video I'm gonna teach you all the cheesy crossovers since patch 6.0. And before I get into the video, I just wanna say a shout out to my boy Meadow. He did tell me some of these crossovers, not all, but I'm also telling you the crossovers he told me as well as my personal preference. And I just gotta say 2K after patch 6. I don't know what to expect from 2K17. I don't even think patch 6 was real. But with that being said, let's get straight into the video. I tell you I'm good hop, they are both. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> so first things first, of course, head over here to these signature styles. And we gonna start off. By your dribble posture um well right now um you're gonna use well really that's personal preference but i keep mine mostly on upright or default default mostly uh, i only use low like i'm going for ankles or something but mostly on default and next after that let's get started with the crossover so first things first iso crossover 11 all right, 11 is gonna work good if it's like 11 is like a speed boost crossover and it's this right here like it's so fast coming up the court you can get around like a whole team if you're running threes look how fast that is you'd even know it was the crossover 11 like it's just that fast and that's one crossover that metal had taught me and now i'm now using i mean crossover 2 is good if you're trying to catch ankles but in this case you're not trying to catch ankles trying to be cheesy with it quick Ooh, bucket every time so that right there is one crossover most definitely gonna get you a few um, buckets and a my part game as well as online game all right so after that we're gonna head over to the ISO behind the back which is 10 that's um most definitely the best one if you use a um, crossover too I saw crossover two, I and mean, if you um, combine ten together, that's like an automatic bucket. Or you can use ten instead of hitting your ISO crossover. If you hit the um, ISO behind the back and get around um, a defender, if they're trying to double team while coming up court, that's a good way to get around people. But I also hope or recommend you have the badge as well. And so, next thing next is the ISO spin. I use spin seven. That's one of my favorite spins. Um, Similar to the one back in 2K15, so I always stick with this spin. ISO hesitation three. It's gonna be the one you're gonna need. Um, it's definitely good. Step back and stuff. It's probably the reason why everybody uses hesitation three is for the step back. Um, your signature size up is mostly personal preference. Um, I use 16, but um, I only use, of course, when we use signature size ups when we're not in park. So I use signature um, size ups 15. I said 16 at first, I think. A signature size of 15, and um, I like it. I really like it. So, all right, and this right here is where it gets real. Look, your ISO size up inside out. You gotta be JT. All right, this right here will create you so much space, and most definitely make your defender drop back on you. Reason why it's like, look what he does. You get your number drop back. See, when once he snatched back, you got you open for a three pointer. And it's gonna dot line you like lay you directly up on the line if you hit it at the right spot. You gonna he gonna step up and snatch back. So that right there is most definitely your arm inside out. Now your ISO size up cross. And scroll up to guard one. I use guard one to the fact that it's quick. You know what I'm saying? Guard one gonna always be fast. And you can also cheese off guard one with the left, right, left, right, left, right, 2K15 cheese. So, that most definitely, it's always gonna be guard one for me. Now, your escape is something everybody needs, and I use I Thomas. All right? Like, look how quick that right there was. It's pretty fast, and I'm gonna show you it right here. And get the ball. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna show you that. So you hit step back, 
One more time, shoot it, buckets. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's easy buckets every time right there. You hit that right there, mess them up. See, that's that guard. Right there is that um, crossover right there, man. I keep telling y'all, it's, it's just so quick. And like I just learned out about it like a, about an hour ago from my boy Meadow, man. Make sure you go check out his channel. A link will be in the description. But back to showing y'all everything else, man. I think we carried, covered about everything. New York Escape. Of course, you got to have a chew gum animation on. How you know it's real. Uh, everything else is just about, you know what I'm saying, normal. Uh, fade one. I never changed none of this right here stuff. So, but yeah, man, right there will be all the cheesy crossovers after patch six, man. So if you look for cheesy crossovers, share this video, tell your friends, all of that. In my next video, I can guarantee them my giveaway video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. If you want to enter my giveaway, my giveaway is gonna be on Mafia three, but I'm gonna give you guys some more information on how to enter the giveaway. And stuff like that. And by the way, I do have a new microphone set up. If you can tell the difference in my audio quality, I am now using the BM800. Um, it was a cheap setup, so I went on and got it. I actually posted my stand, but I never posted an unboxing video, my microphone and stuff. But I guess I'll be posting that video soon. But it's your boy, Mr. Exploit, and I'm out.